Hey what's up, my name is PJ and in this short video I'm going to show you a quick portrait shoot that I did with my new iPhone 7. Hope you enjoy. So yeah, I grabbed the iPhone 7 a couple of weeks ago. It's been a lot of fun to play with, especially because it shoots raw. I know it's something that Samsung and other brands have been doing for ages, but I've always been an Apple guy and I think it's cool that it's finally here for the iPhone. So the way that I've been doing it is in the manual camera app. Obviously you can control the settings manually, you can shoot RAW, you can shoot RAW plus JPEG. It's a really good little app, it costs a few bucks, I think it's probably 5 or 6 dollars, I can't remember exactly. But definitely worth picking up if you want to do any sort of serious photography with your iPhone. I was also lucky enough to have my beautiful girlfriend Gemma step in for some photos, which I really appreciate, so let's get into it right now. There's a few things that I'll say about this shoot. One thing that I'll say is I had it on a tripod. The settings that I had were at 1 100th of a second. Obviously it's a continuous light source, it's not a flash. So 1 100th of a second, 1.8 ISO 100. Had it on the camera just so as to get no camera shake and I was also triggering it with the Apple EarPods. The little buttons on the side of the Apple EarPods, you can uh, operate the shutter button from your camera. So that was really handy. One other thing that I'll say is that when you're looking at your subject, it's really weird that they look at the camera over here because you are used to with the DSLR, you're used to putting up to your eye, they look almost like right directly at you. Um, especially when I was holding with the trigger, it was weird to see them looking, to see Gemma looking at this side of the camera. Um, something to get used to, something to take into consideration. It's just weird when you look at the photo, you expect them to be looking off to the side, but in fact they're looking straight down the lens. It's also possibly something to take into consideration with your composition. Instead of uh, composing it like that, right in the middle, you might want to put the camera here to get it right in the middle of your frame, if you know what I mean. The manual app is a little funny to use. The features are great, but just like choosing the different settings, the way you do that is kind of weird. Hard to explain, but I highly recommend the app. It's really good. It just takes a little bit of getting used to doing the manual controls. Let's jump on Lightroom now and I'll show you exactly what the raw file looks like. Okay, so the settings are supposedly at ISO 100. If you look at the raw file, there is a lot of noise. A lot of color noise, a lot of just general digital grain. It's kind of weird, kind of disappointing, but it is a small sensor, I guess. I'll probably have to do this test outside in natural light to properly do the camera justice. Um, but I thought that there was plenty of light in the situation. It says ISO 100, that was the settings that I had at the time as well. And it looks kind of noisy to me. That's fine, look, I'm not too worried about noise. A lot of people get really uh, weird about that sort of thing. It's easy, I actually have a, a detail preset that turns on automatically when I import my photos. Bump that up a little bit, but um, as you can see, it's pretty easy to clean up. It's not fully smooth, but it's definitely smooth enough. So I'll show you the edited version. You see it takes a while to clear that noise. Let me just take the detail slider off. It's super easy to fix up with a little bit of noise reduction. Um, I like to sharpen my photos as well. It's not really a big issue to me, but it was just something that I was kind of surprised at looking at the files. The raw file does have a lot of dynamic range. It's really easy to edit. I don't exactly know what I was expecting, but it's just weird to think of it coming from a phone. Overall, the raw file is really, really good, despite the noise, despite whatever else, despite the fact that it was taken on a phone. Uh, I'm very, very happy with it, and it's such a cool, powerful tool to have in your pocket. If you have a little tripod or something, you could easily do your man manual settings, shoot a landscape, shoot a sunset. Um, I think especially outdoors, similar to the GoPro, similar to the old iPhones, that's where this is really gonna shine. Um, but yeah, super happy with it. 
There is a little bit of grain, there is a little bit of noise, but if you're gonna export this and put it on Facebook or Instagram, the quality is gonna be excellent. It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna take it up to the next level. Um, shooting and editing raw on your iPhone, your quality will be outstanding. And I think on a smaller screen, it's gonna look flawless. You would never know it was taken on an iPhone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you learned something, give me a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.